All the way from Spain, we have Aitana singing 24 Roses. She is a TV personality, and her full name is Aitana Ocana Morales, known as Aitana, a Spanish singer actress. She gained national recognition in 2017, placed as a runner up in the revival series of the Spanish reality tel television talent competition, Operacion Triunfo. While competing on the show, Aitana recorded the single Lo Malo with fellow contestant Ana Guerrera as part of the songs in the running to represent Spain in the 2018 Eurovision Song Contest. The song became an instant hit in Spain, debuting at number one and holding the spot for several weeks. Following the competition, Aitana signed a 360 record deal with Universal Music and released a debut solo single, Telefono, to commercial success and streaming breaking records. Trust me, this young lady from Spain, absolutely beautiful looking, is a talent, multifaceted, has many skills. As I said, she's a TV presenter, she's an actress, she's also a singer. But she even quotes about people not taking her seriously as a singer and because of her beauty, she's never found it a hindrance. In fact, the TV and people and people who've interviewed her have said she's very down to earth. She's got her feet on the ground. There's no snobbery with her. She's very giving in all the questions that you ask her. And she's a real grounded person, but yet she finds difficulty. And as she quotes herself, and I, I will say it, about her early image in the industry, Atana stated to Forbes, I've had a hard time getting credibility from people in the industry. They saw me as the girl who just left OT and to see how I was going to manage my, uh, her career. But more and more artists have started to trust me. I've been collaborating with them from Katy Perry to Sebastian Yatra on my first tour, play tour, helped add to my credibility as an artist. When you see this woman, the beauty, the deliverance of her pop music and the, you know, we are a pop channel it's uplifting it's a breath of fresh air and that's what i love so atana welcome i'm looking forward to what you are going to sing and what you're going to sing for us today is 24 roses it's a song about a failed relationship an aftermath of a heartbreak the lyrics express frustration and disappointment towards the narrator's former partner who tries to rekindle the romance despite the narrator having moved on got the lyrics in front of me the song is in spanish but it has english subtitles so let's sit back and enjoy new artists 2023 aitana me jode que me digas que yo te hice mal si nunca fui la mala en este cuento me jode que tú vivas en tu realidad Pero en tu realidad sabes por dentro Que todas las promesas fueron de papel Qué fácil que volaron con el viento Hoy puede que te duela que yo esté con él Pero es que tú te fuiste hace tiempo Y yo, ahora que no estamos juntos Te voy a decir que también me dolió Que tú soltaste mi mano
that was short and sweet wasn't it but wasn't it a great delivery fantastic visualizer I, I can't wait to see the official video to that if that's anything to go by the production was brilliant um, I can see why you worked with Katy Perry Aitana and I can only say I'm going to absolutely love your music on my channel the beat was great it's very poppy but at the same time it's delivering a very important message to everybody and that's what I'm about I'm about to go through the lyrics it starts in verse 1 it bothers me that you tell me that I did you wrong if I was never the bad one in this story it bothers me that you live in your reality but in your reality you know how you know deep down that all the promises were made of paper how easily they flew away with the wind today it may hurt you that I'm with him but the truth is you left a long time ago now when it comes to that first verse the narrator feels upset that their ex blames them for the relationship's downfall when they were not the one at fault she also emphasizes that their ex lives in their own reality but deep down knows the truth about broken promises and how easily they were forgotten the line pero et, and i'm hopefully saying this properly in spanish pero es que de frutas hace tiempo suggests <laughs> that the ex-partner had already emotionally left the relationship before it actually ended while the narrator is now with somebody else now the chorus reflects the ex's desperate attempts to reconcile calling and claiming to still love the narrator but the narrator knows that getting back together is not going to happen the mention of roses on la cama roses on the bed signifies the typical romantic gestures that the ex-partner used implying that they were are attempting to win the narrator back on a superficial level Ooh, i don't think today any woman wants to be won back on a superficial level it's all it's all very well trying to put roses on the bed but that implies on the bed i want to seduce you and women today aren't about that it's more about the mental than the physical so the ex-partner has already emotionally left the relationship before it actually ended well the narrator is now with somebody else when it goes to number two it says and now that we're not together i'm going to tell you that it hurt me too that you let go of my hand and in the middle of summer madrid turned cold and while I was waiting for you, it was snowing in my heart. And this voice froze. And now you call me? It continues, you say you love me, that we should get back together, as if it was going to happen. And it's not going to happen. It's not fair, roses on the bed, when I was about to let go. And now I cry again, wanting to forget you. There's nothing worse than half than having a possessive ex a lot of people who break up want their exes to come back and I've given interpretations and lyrics to that but there are a lot of people that say enough is enough it wasn't meant to be I just can't get my head into this and yet the ex is still trying to overwhelm the person and persuade them with sexual um, fantasies like roses on the bed, flowers to the door, ringing when she had already said, no, it's over, but ringing and sending beautiful texts. Sometimes it's like knocking the door and not getting an answer. And, and that's knocking the door inside the head of the person. When you say no is no, a lot of people can't accept that especially when they become obsessed with the moment, obsessed with why. And part of the reason of that, everybody, is because some people hate being rejected. They're the ones that's always done the rejection. Think about this. And when somebody else does it to them, even when you're with somebody else, it's how dare you. I'll get you back. I'll prove to him that, that new person that I'm the best, I'm the best. They become almost self-obsessed with themselves. And when they are, you carry on with your life with your new person. And you forget about them. Block their numbers. Do whatever it takes. They have to, in other words, they're too immature to move on. 
Let them deal with it. That's my advice to you. The chorus reflects the, ex the ex's desperate attempts to reconcile, calling and claiming to still love the narrator as we've discussed, but the narrator knows that getting back together is not going to happen. But that's because they have done always the rejection and to be rejected and them not doing it, they can't accept that. That's a touch of psychopathic. It's almost on the border of being an acosist. So it's better to move on. In fact, run away is my advice. And those gestures that he's used, to be honest, why? Why are they wasting their time? But sometimes you meet these people, sometimes they can't accept no sometimes even in friendships it's just what do i have to do here you just have to walk with your feet and move on and forget about them do every everything you can to block them by email text but move on because actually they're quite dangerous if, if they suffocate you and they can't accept no because they've been rejected then it's a role reversal where they are being rejected first that's called life and, and they have to grow up and deal with it. And if they can't, it's not your problem. Don't make it your problem. Do what the song says, move on. Because we talked about in the second verse how their ex asked for a fresh start. And due to their love, the narrator believed in the possibility of a new beginning at once. But eventually she realized the love was dying. Yet they were still holding on, on to it. Well, she wasn't invested emotionally and the line honesto perdemos sorry los dos states that both individuals are at fault for the end of the relationship but she has come to terms with it and knows they are better off now the decision to say goodbye brought about the improvement in their life because she says here because now you're seeing that I'm better off this way since I said goodbye. Now you call me, you say you love me, that we should get back together as if it was going to happen. And it's not going to happen. It's not fair. She's realized the pressures he, and the craziness he's doing at the moment isn't fair to her emotionally. And she's realized, wow, I had a lucky escape here. And it finishes, roses on the bed when I was about to let go and now I'm crying wanting to forget you. And now I'm crying wanting to forget you. And now I'm crying wanting to forget you. But they're not crying of sad tears. It's actually relief and happy tears that, whoa, I managed to get away from this possessive person. Wow, and there's a lot of them out there. And it's only when you're in a relationship do you realize, I can't breathe. They want to know where I'm going, what I'm doing, what time I, I wake up, what clothes I'm wearing. They're telling me what clothes I'm wearing. They ring me at work. They text me. It's too much. It's too much. There's no freedom. There's no breathing space. One of the successes after 16 years with my current partner is I allow him to go out with his friends. I'm a recluse. I'm very reclusive. He knows that. And he goes out with his friends, he does his things, the trust is there, he comes back, he's had a great night, he's full of life, full of fun. And I like to go for coffees, walk my dog and be solitary. I love my own company, but we exist and the love is there because I have respect for him and his friends and his freedom and he has respect for my choice that I prefer my own company. And that's how it is. You've got to work it out. If not, woof, it becomes like this. So my advice is don't suffocate. Learn to breathe and move on. My summary of this whole song is it depicts her frustration with their ex's failed attempts to win her back and the determination to move on and find happiness again. It conveys the emotions experienced after a breakup such resentment, longing, and ultimately acceptance. In other words, the full circle. You know, he starts resenting, he starts longing for it. He ultimately realizes it's never gonna happen. 
and then he accepts. Some people need to go on that to realize to move on with their lives. If you're in that position, I wish you well. I wish you karma and peace. You will open the door to a new life, but you have to walk towards it. Remember that. Atena, you will be back on my channel very, very soon. Loved, loved my introduction to you and that first single. Absolutely loved it. Bye for now.